In this week's episode of Attack on Titan Junior High, the test results are finally in. Everyone's crazy, and Sasha is stupid. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the battle between mankind and the Titans continues to intensify in this comedy spin-off of Attack on Titan. This episode is very similar to the previous ones. They take the characters and scenarios of Attack on Titan, remove all of the danger and the peril, and set it within a junior high school setting, and they let the shenanigans ensue. The good news is, this week's episode is really funny, if you're a fan of Attack on Titan. On the upside, though, the timing and the writing of the comedy is so sharp that even if you're not a fan of the series, you'll still definitely get a few chuckles from this week's episode. And this episode definitely played to the comedy strengths of two of the funniest characters from the series. We have Sasha, the food-obsessed dunderhead, and then we have Hanji Zoe, the mad scientist obsessed with the Titans. And we really got to see them play to their extremes in this episode, which led to a lot of funny moments. The big thing about this week's episode is that a lot of test results are coming in, and Sasha has bombed hard. So she's going to have to be tutored by Armin. It's very fitting that Armin is the smartest person in class, and Sasha is the dumbest. Well, dumbest next to Connie Springer, who's another really funny character from this episode, who seems to be completely oblivious to everything that's going on in the school, whether it be his schoolwork or just the Titans themselves. Frankly, I would have really liked it if Connie would have stuck around, because I think it would have been really great seeing Sasha and Connie basically sort of drive Armin insane, but it doesn't really go that way at all. Like I said, Connie's just oblivious to everything, and spends most of the episode just taking a big fat stroll. The big funny moments from Sasha definitely come when she's being tutored by Armin because she completely sucks at math, but when she actually tries to remember these equations and combine it with her love of food, she really starts to get into it. It leads to a lot of funny moments, and it's an extreme juxtaposition to her character in the show, who basically would hold on to food and eat it like it was her last meal every single time. In this series, she's just completely obsessed with food. She's like the freaking Shaggy from the Scooby-Doo gang of the Attack on Titan Junior High. It's pretty freaking weird. But the rest of the episode focuses on Hanji Zoe, who is really funny in this week's episode, especially the running gag where she gets all serious and claims, no matter how crazy it is what she's doing, that she's going to do it regardless of what anyone says. She tries to get some food out of Levi, and she even introduces us to Sonny and Bean from the original Attack on Titan anime series. And what's really strange about that scene is that it's almost identical to the actual anime version. The Titans even try to eat Hanji Hanji Zoe, which I think is really strange because it's the first instance of us actually seeing that within this series. And I'm not really sure where they're going with this story, but I have to admit it is funny that they made Sonny and Bean look a little more goofier by giving them very blushed looking cheeks, just to add a little more humor to the show. That and of course just getting to see everyone's reactions to how crazy Hanji Zoe is, is really the real reason to check out this week's episodes, as, as well as her interactions with Levi. And that seems to be like the whole joke in this episode, is you have like one crazy person person and one like normal person interacting with each other just to get to see the two extremes of them. Really, that's all I have to say about this episode. I've said it before in my previous reviews that reviewing a comedy series is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do because everybody has like a different idea of what comedy is. Some people will find things funny. Some people will think it's just stupid and it might just go over your head. But this episode still had enough moments to make it great. Even with all of the Hanji Zoe stuff and Sasha stuff, I think my favorite thing from this episode was the bit with Oluo, how he was hanging out with Petra and how he was always constantly trying to imitate Captain Levi, even more so in Attack on Titan Junior High. And it all leads up to this really stupid joke, but it has a lot of payoff behind it. I also really loved all of the shameless like plugins and product placement with the Attack on Titan manga and some of the other members of the Survey Corps actually playing a 3DS with a 3DS Attack on Titan game on it. That's some pretty good marketing Attack on Titan team. It's so what's the rundown on this week's episode of Attack on Titan Junior High? It's just like the rest. If you like Attack on Titan, you're going to like this show. You're certainly going to get some chuckles from it because they do a really good job of playing homage to a lot of classic scenes and really playing with the characters' personalities. And they always manage to choose the funniest ones to work with in the episode, so I'm, I'm really glad that they're doing that. I'm more interested to see, though, if Eren himself is actually going to learn to actually transform into a Titan like he does in the anime version because that could potentially change how the series is going to be. 
on the animation, artwork, and all that side of things in this week's episode. It was okay. There really weren't any scenes that were too, like, overdone or too crazy. The best moments were definitely with Hanji Zoe, especially when she was interacting with Levi and when they were doing those close-up shots of her face. They were really funny and over-the-top and uh, sort of, like, clashed a little bit with the tone of the series. But again, that's a part of the humor of this week's episode, just sort of taking stuff that was really dark and serious from Attack on Titan and just sort of transforming it into this, like, goofy comedy show. So, uh, another good episode right here. Just a good couple of laughs. I like Attack on Titan, so I'm definitely enjoying this series. But if you like comedy anime or you like Attack on Titan, check out this show. You'll at least get a couple of laughs and maybe you'll even see something else that you like. So I'm going to give this week's episode right here a 3 out of 5. Just another fun, average, funny episode of Attack on Titan Junior High, which is exactly what the whole series is. It's just a funny diversion as we wait for the second season of the real anime series. Before you guys leave today, I would love to hear your thoughts about this episode, and you can tell me in the comment section below, and make sure to tell me what you guys want to see from the rest of Attack on Titan Junior High. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on social media. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby!